Good evening everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen um, one of, uh, no, let's do that again. Good evening everyone, welcome back to GSP Sea Fishing, or welcome for the first time to GSP Sea Fishing if you haven't been here before. Um, and if you haven't, please stay tuned. Hopefully you'll get something out of this video. If not, just a little bit of enjoyment. Um, first of all, thank you everyone for the 5,000 subscribers. I'm over that now. Um, it's a great milestone to get to. Um, so thank you all, thank you all for your support. Thank you for your comments, um, your likes, your shares, everything. So uh, really big thanks to all of you. Um, really really do appreciate it i try and reply to everyone that, that comments so i really 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 do want to encourage everyone to comment and 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 share and like these videos if you do obviously um and i will try and reply back if i can now today has started as a worse well, yeah it is a disaster these are not happy marks over to my right pete's to my left we turned up at dim church tonight is one of those nights my night to go fishing but unfortunately the tides haven't fallen right it says that low is around 8 30 so i thought let's go to dim church let's go and fish over the low see if we can get a ray we turn up at dim church and the tide is still in at the bottom of the boulders the wind was coming right across the beach cutting across and the rollers were probably two foot high not really good for wading so very quick decision come right round to Shakespeare Beach Dover we're gonna fish over the low at Shakespeare just to see if anything is about I mean might just be dogfish if we're lucky I've only got baits for rays so fish baits sand eel a bit of squid we're gonna put them on uh, some uh, some rigs for rays which I'll show you in a bit and I've got my rod set up already I'm just about to do a double sand eel so I'm gonna get a double sand eel wrapped on the first rod we'll get that one out and then we get to the second bait on the second rod do something a little bit different get fishing so let's hope we get something So here's Mark, he's with me. Hello mate. Doing, mate? What have All you right. got on there on the end? I've got a bit of bluey and squid. You've got bluey and squid and you're just All about right. to whack it out in you, mate. Right, mate. A glaring All light right, into mate. the camera. Right, Good luck mate. He's casting with a rod tip light on and I really don't like that. Let's hope it doesn't go wrong. Well, I haven't set up my other rod yet because I've just walked back with Mark and this was bouncing. So there's something on it. I wonder if it's the dogfish, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, there's something pulling on that. I don't expect a lot here over low, but you never know. You got a bite? Mark's got a bite too. This one's nodding, so I'm going to see what's on this one. Mark's going to pick his up. There might not be anything on this. No. Oh, oh am I over the... What? Have I got something or am I over the ledge? This is what I don't know. There's a bit of weight on this. 
but I don't know if it's a fish. There's a bit of weight on this, but is it a fish? If it is a fish, it feels very dogfish like. Have you got one, Mark? Yeah, I think this is a doggy too, but I'm not complaining. This is a doggy, I will be keeping it for my dinner if it's big enough. Hmm. Where is it? We got mate, doggy. Oh, he's going to lose his doggy. He's going to lose it. Mark's doggy's just gone in. And I've got mine here. And that is big enough to take for the table, which is what I'm going to do. Nice. Well, there's fish about. I'm not going to complain. He has swallowed that bait because I let him. So I wasn't sure what it was. So I'm going to get the forceps to get that out. Well, I've just come down here because I saw something on the side. And Mark's dogfish that um, came off, literally just in the surf, and it seemed to swim back. Has basically swam back in, he's trying to bite me. There he is. Um, unfortunately for him, I'm keeping him for dinner. So I've got two dogfish, so I don't need to keep any more. Well, not a bad start to the session, literally bite straight away. Um, I've got Mark's dogfish as well, because it beats itself. So I've got my dinner now, I'm really happy. That's what I come fishing for. I do come fishing to take what I catch if, if I haven't got any fishing freezer. I resent going to the supermarket and buying it if I'm going out and catching it myself. So I'm gonna keep the two dogfish. They are lovely, I love a dogfish, especially if they're fresh. And get another bait out. The two rods set up, but if it's uh, a bit hectic like this at the moment, I might only fish one. So we're gonna get that one back out with sand eel on again. See if we get a bite again. We'll go with a single sand eel this time. I don't think I need to go double. A ray will take a single. Just like so. Right, always try and get your bait elastic around the hook as it comes out of the bait to stop it sliding on the pressure of the cast so that can rip through there but if you've got a bit of bait elastic you might hold it in place and get the last bit on the top like that keep it all straight that is ready to go let's get this one out again see what it goes like but I'll show you now, in case I don't put the next rod out because of too much action, I've basically got this on an up and over rig. So I'll link the up and over rig up there in the top corner and also it's in the description how I build this up and over rig. Very simple. There it is, I've got the uh, lead weight there on a sliding, sliding uh, swivel. Now. I've had people say to me before, why am I using an impact lead with an imp? I always put an imp on my rigs, so then I'm not relying on the lead weight for the bait release. So I can put any lead weight on this. So the imps are always on my rigs when I build them, and then I can just pick up any lead weight and, and I can go fishing. Um, if I was relying on an impact lead, I'd have to make sure I had the right leads and the right rigs. Whereas this way around, I just need the right rigs. So there we go, that's there. I'm gonna basically take this line, this snood line up and over, like so, clip it down on the 
imp down the bottom here and that there is all streamlined ready to cast let's get it out up on the casting cannon let's wipe this out wind behind this should fly it is cold though tonight it is very cold this wind is northeasterly right lean into this and go right that is flying felt that there she's gone Well, I was adamant I was going to go two ray rigs, but no, last minute change of mind. I'm going to go with a boom rig, two hook boom rig. There it is. I don't know if Mark's got a bite there, I'm not sure. I'm just going to go straight out of here. Just an overhead thump. Probably gone a little bit further, but. Trying just not to get over the drop off. It is cold. Right, this is our one line fix, right? Right, go on. Right, over your right shoulder now. Yeah. Right, two spaceships sitting up there. <laughs> right, so you're sitting here while we're fishing, right, Pete? Yeah. And you've seen lights on a hill and you think they're spaceships. Yeah. Okay, have you been taking your meds recently? Yeah, I'm up to date with them. You're up to date yeah. with them? I think you need to up the dosage of them. Well, I'm on the same dosage as you. Well, 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 I've got nothing to say to that, mate. I'm a, I'm a wee little man. Yeah, I know. But, yeah. but what? Well, what? you're wee. What's that? That? Well, that? It's the seal belly. It's the seal belly. <laughs> it's pushing time. elephant, mate. Elephant yeah, seal is, belly. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> See the way you're sliding down the uh, shingle there. Sliding down the shingle? Yeah. I'm going to leave you to it, mate. Well, my rod just took a nice big dip, and so did Mark. I'm keeping an eye on mine. I think it's on there. I think it's a dogfish. Mark's is, uh, I can see Mark's on the surface. There. What you got, mate? Is it a doggy? Oh yeah, it's over my line. Hold on, mate. Hold on. There you go, mate. There you go, mate. That is a that is a clunker, isn't it? He's a fat dogfish there. Well done, mate. Well, you might as well get him unhooked, get him back down here. Well done, mate. Right, I do think there's something on this. Because... Oh, no, no, I'm not sure there is now. <laughs> I don't think there is. I think Mark's fish, they're obviously close. I don't know. No, I don't think there is. I really don't think there is. I think his fish obviously went past my rig to dislodge mine and then it was bouncing with the lead moving. So we get a new bait on this. Get us back out again. This is not what we were hoping to fish for, but um, quick last minute change of plans and we've managed to find fish at least over low. So. Right, sand hill's going again. I think it's a doggy. See, again, these lights seem to go off as and when they please. I get a bite, they don't go off, and then they just go off with the wind. There it is, pulling. Something on that. Let's feel for this. Oh, hit the other rod. I feel it. Yeah, I feel something on it there. Come on. Go on. Where are you? 
We go. Yeah, we've got him. Another doggy. Let's get him in. So we've got to walk down with this. Oh, he's pulling a bit. He's a decent size. Mark's just going to cast. Pete's in uh, no man's land, isn't you, Pete? You're in no man's land fishing there. Mark, let's see where this is then. Come on. It's on a bit slack now, a bit light. I hate it when it does that. I think it's still on. Yeah, it's still on. It's a long way out this is. It's only been out. Five minutes. Where is it? There it is on the surface. Is it? I might have a line. I think it's under it. It's good. Yep. And we'll take that. Lovely. Another dogfish there. He's a little one. In the corner of the mouth there, should just be able to pop that out. So, don't want him to do that. There you go, that's out. Little dogfish. Let's get him back. There he goes, there he is. Let's get the next one. Next way, there we go. Go on then mate, off you go, swim away. Hopefully he's not stupid enough to come back in. Where is he? There he is, I could just see him under the surface there. There he comes, look. Come on, out you go. Out you go, don't beat yourself. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to just throw him. I hope he goes. Go on. These dogfish are a little bit silly. Well, he's gone. Do a bit to camera and both my rods started going. Come on. I think there's a doggy on this left. Yeah, I think there's something on there. Let's just have a feel. Let's have a feel. Come on. There it is. Oh no, have I got it? No, I think I missed him. No, I... Yeah, I've got him. Oh, I've got him. Oh, yeah, he's... Give me the pull there, he's on. No, I'm not coming in. You're not going to get me. Yeah, he's giving a good little account of himself out there. No, he's not. <laughs> he's giving up now. He's giving up now. Pete's just about to cast out. Pete hasn't had a thing, hasn't had a touch on Bluey. So he's going to persevere with it, I think. Oh, 
after blanking last week. I'm just happy to get some fish. There is it. There is it. If this is a decent one, I might keep him as well. Get my freezer stopped. There it comes. Ah, Mark's line's there. Am I on your line, Mark? Mark and his dodgy casting. The dogfish on the deck. I have to drop your line, mate. Well, there we are, another dogfish on the deck. I am going to keep him. I am going to stock up. I haven't taken fish for a while, so I'm going to take him for eating. Get this back out again. I really don't mind catching these when there's nothing much else about. They save a blank, at least. Well, I've just brought another rod in and uh, Peter Mark are shouting at me that my other rod's bouncing. Um, have a look. Not fear anything. It was bouncing earlier. I'm going to bring it in anyway, so I'm going to bring it in. Nothing on it. Let's get that in. Rebated. I couldn't be bothered to wait. Well, I was just about to do a bit to camera just now and then the rod went and I had a dogfish. I think we're getting towards low now. Um, it really has dropped off from where we are. It's probably dropped another metre and a half, two metres since we've been here. Um, there's action, there's dogfish. I'm not like super, super, super uh, excited by it, but um, as we couldn't fish our first mark that we went to, we were going to go for rays. Um, this is probably the next best alternative. And unfortunately, Dimchurch at the moment, I wouldn't be taking many fish from there because there was news stories the other day, about three days ago, that St Mary's Bay, just around the corner, um, has been given a no, uh, like no swimming ban for the year because of uh, faecal matter found in the water, which is lovely. So um, I wouldn't be eating many fish from around that area because of the, the bacteria in the water. So if we did do our session that we would have done, we would have been catching rays and if they were sizable, I wouldn't have been able to keep them. But we weren't able to do it. The sea was still quite in. I think the swell was bringing it in further than, than, than it would be normally. Um, so we come here, we're getting dogfish, we're getting bites. We'll see how it goes. It is cold tonight, northeasterly. The wind's got a nip in it. It's coming overhead at probably about 20, 25 miles an hour. Um, down here, we're a little bit sheltered, but we're getting the gusts now and again. As I said before, thank you everyone that subscribed. Really appreciate it. Um, Pete's rod might be going. Pete's rod might be going. Right, let's get back to the fishing. Right, well, I'm going to change it up a little bit on this upper over. I have got a bit of sardine wrapped on there. I'm going to go with a sardine tail. Let's see if anything else is about. Pete's not really getting much, and he's on fish bait. I'm going to go as well. See what happens. Let's get it out now. That's out there. Nice. Well, we've just got a couple more fishermen turned up just down there. About nine o'clock, low tide. I hope they haven't got work in the morning. Right. I'm just baiting this up. Mark's got something, so let's see what he's got. This won't take two secs. And then again, Mark won't take two secs bringing it in. Let's see what he's got. There we go, a bit of squid. Um, what's Mark got? What has he got? It's got to be a dog food. We haven't seen anything. 
anything other than dogfish. Have you got anything new? No, he's a dogfish. There we go. He's a little one, isn't he, mate? So I think yeah, I'll let you unhook him and get him back. Well done, mate. What's that, four? Yeah. Well done. Mark's in again. What has he got? We're a long way from the edge now, mate, aren't we? It's a bit of a trek down this hill. I oh, know, it's good cardio. What's he got? Here it comes. Is it another dog? Is this just a dogfish heaven tonight? Looks like it. Where is it, mate? There it is. Another dogfish. Well done, mate. I'll let you get that back in a minute. Congrats. Well, things have definitely slowed down a bit. Well, they've slowed down if you're not fishing for the dogfish. So me and Pete have now gone over the fish baits. The dogfish really don't seem to be interested in fish baits tonight. They are on the sand eels and the squid. Um, Pete hasn't had a bite, but that's not a bad thing because if there is a ray around over low, he's got a chance of picking that up. Two chaps have just turned up down there, they're setting up. They've turned up at low, so I presume they're going to fish the whole of the flood. Good luck to them. Good luck if you're watching this, I hope you catch something. I'm sure you'll get some rays sort of uh, three hours before high or something like that. We won't be here then. Um, work in the morning. But um, it's been a bit of action. Hoping for a little bit more. Just keep watching my rod tips. Hoping one to go over with a ray bite, but nothing yet. Right, this is a squid rod. I'm bringing this in now, and it's not going back. Not going back out. I am done with this one. I'll pack this one down slowly. Right, other rod is packed away. The others are packing away. Everyone's heard the word Burger King and they've uh, packed up sharpish. There's nothing on this. So let's get back down and I think we'll call it a day. Oh, just marched back to the car. We are done. Session over. Oh, Mark's breathing. Good workout, mate. That was a good workout stomping up that hill. Stomping up the shingle bank. Um, unfortunately, Pete, you didn't bite, did you, mate? No. Dogfish were not interested in the fish bait at all. But Pete wanted to persevere and see if a ray comes about, which, I mean, if there was one, at least they'd have a bait sitting out there. Yeah. But me and Mark, how many do you have? Five, five was it? Five. Five. I think I might have had five. I don't know, I weren't counting. Not quite sure, but... That's enough. It was all right, wasn't That's it? That's enough for dogfish, isn't it? Yeah, it's enough for dogfish. We didn't blank. We cooked some fish. Weren't our first choice of venue. It was a last minute call. It was all right, wasn't it? Yeah. It was all right. Not good, bad. Good. Oh, we bought you a video, a fishing video. <laughs> anyway, until next time, tight lights. Tight lights.